Coach Corkery, regular season champion AU Eagles. How's that sound? <laughs> it sounds fantastic. You know, it sounds great. It sounds great. No tiebreakers really, or anything. This is your. Oh, there you <laughs> go. There you go. I mean, our, our kids have obviously played well and been able to separate ourselves, you know, fairly early, you know, uh, in the conference schedule. So we're excited about that. I found my experience over the years is that the really good teams, the special teams, kind of take control of the team themselves. Right. But you don't really have to do a whole lot. Is that the case with this team? Yeah, I think uh, we talk about success comes in inches, not miles. It's continuing to preach to your team to be detail-oriented and focus on the little things, and that's really what makes the difference. And, and so far, this team is really humble and hungry. They know that something bigger and better can be had, you know, in March and later in the year, and we're going to try to delay a little gratification now in order to, to have that, to have the opportunity to have that late. And that's where our focus is really, just day to day and, uh, and uh, working hard each day. You've built this thing into a great program. I mean, this, this thing is rolling. You've got it going, I would imagine, the way you want in terms of the, the quality of the student athletes you're bringing in here and the results. And there's that one thing mm -hmm. that's left, isn't there? Yeah. Well, it is. It is. First off, I'll say that it's a it's a we thing. You know, we've built it. A lot of a lot of great players working hard over an extended period of time. I've been fortunate to be for eight years. I've been fortunate to be the head coach for four. Uh, but a lot of people involved in that. And you know, really, the way we look at it is, it's going to happen at some point. You know, you keep knocking on the door. You keep being one of the best teams in the league. At, you stay at the top. It's eventually going to happen. You know, we really hope it happens this year. And we've got a great opportunity to, to make that happen. But you know what? If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. The sun is going to come up the next day. We've been through that before. We'll keep plugging away. It's bigger than any one team right now. Our program is bigger than any one team in any one season. And if we can make it happen, great. You know, if it doesn't, credit you know to whoever wins it you know and we'll be ready to have another great year next year and that's really our attitude do you allow yourself to kind of visualize what a championship game at bender would look like and what it would sound like and how you think your team would play in it not really i haven't really visualized that or you know broke it down i really try to live in the present really just try to live and be in the present so we can make good decisions right now, I think that pays off for you in the end. And then I, I hope, you know, one day we have a chance to walk out and it's that environment and it's that game and we can enjoy being in that moment. You know, but right now we're in this one and we're happy with that and that's the way it needs to be. Well, Coach, I wish you nothing but the great success and good luck in the tournament. It's going to be wonderful to have three games here at Bender. That third one's going to be kind of fun, I think. That's right. That's right. It's, uh, it's really exciting to know that we have the opportunity to host throughout the tournament. And forever the coach, we host the quarterfinal game. Right. And <laughs> we got to take care of business at that point, and, and we'll see what happens. But pleasure to sit down with you and talk about our program. Thanks for having me. All right. Good luck. Thanks a lot. All right.